question, honey. Try not to get beat up today. And did you finish those papers I asked you to do? Yes, Mom. Of course I did. Good. Sorry, can I take this? Of course. Hi, Lena. Hi, how are you this morning? Good, how about you? I'm doing fantastic, thank you for asking. Are you always this hyper? <laughs> <laughs> of course, you can't be Lena without the hyper attitude. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Are you meeting me at my house or are you walking by yourself? Ask me by your place, I'm almost there anyway. Oh, okay, that's great. I want to sign up for, but uh, I'm kind of nervous to do it alone. Um, will you do it with me? It's the cooking club, and I remember yesterday you said you like to cook and well. Can we get matching aprons? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> then I'm in. Yes, thank you so much, Mac. Of course. What are friends for? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll text you when we're at your house. We? Yeah, I live right next to Peden, so we usually walk together. I thought since you live close to us, we could pick you up on the way to school. Yeah, no, of course that works. Great, okay, see ya. Bye. Who was that, Mac? Oh, just a new friend. She's walking with me to school, so I won't have to walk alone. Good, I'm glad to see you made new friends. I told you you'd been in, right? Yeah, we're kind of the odd bunch of the school. At least you're not the kids who pick their boogers and eat them. Okay, Mom, there are two types of people in this world. The ones who pick their boogers and those who lie about it. And that is a fact. Oh, come on now. We all know that's not true. <sighs> okay, maybe just a little bit true? Morning, Dad. Morning, hun. i I'm heading out. Already? Yeah, my boss called me in early this morning, and uh, I can't afford to be late. What the hell was that? Aspen Ray Patterson, watch your language. It was nothing. You know Dad's work is very important to him. He was probably in a rush. We know, Mom. Sure, he has a reason. He always does. Morning, Mac. Morning, Lena. Hi, Peyton. Morning. Morning, ladies. Morning, Morning Aspen. Aspen. So, have you talked to Bryson lately? Yeah, actually, but it wasn't awkward conversation. How so? Well, I learned he doesn't have the best home life, so maybe that's why he wants to be a TikToker so much. Oh, yeah. His parents are like, cut each other's throats bad. They hate each other. Um, wow, um, that's terrible. Just, how exactly do you know that, Peyton? And this is all just public knowledge? Like, I get that Bryson doesn't really seem to care where this information goes, but it is his private life, and let's be fair, as his friends, shouldn't we at least avoid discussing his trauma out in the open with an in-depth analysis? Uh, sorry for interrupting your conversation, but who is this Bryson kid? One of our groupmates. 
We're considered the outcast of the school, and he's the TikToker of the group. Well, that doesn't sound like fun. Being called the outcasts isn't a good thing, you know. It is to us. See, we don't fit anywhere else, so where do all the misfits go? Lena was the first one to actually make me feel wanted in this school, and I thank her every day for that. Oh, I'm just doing my job. But why are you guys considered misfits and outcasts anyway? You guys seem perfectly normal to me. And that's how we like it, don't we? Wouldn't have it any other way. Uh-huh. Uh, speaking of your friend group, how's that one kid? You know, the one who got punched yesterday. Aiden? Oh, he's fine. I called him to make sure he was okay, and he said he just had a bit of a bruise on his cheek. But other than that, he's used to it. So you guys just take that shit every day? Pretty much. I mean, it's not so bad. We have each other, so it makes it better when we're all together taking it. Yeah, but Lena, yesterday you were alone. What if something like that happens again and no one is there to help? I mean, you could have gotten seriously hurt. Then I would have called 911. Aspen, you really don't have to worry about us. We'll be okay. And I'm not saying I want anyone to just deal with being beat up, but we don't need you to come rescue us every time. That just gets you hurt too. I don't care if I get hurt helping out someone I care about, especially if it's my sister and her friends. I'm older than you guys, so I should be the one to protect you if I can. Yeah, you're older than us. By a year, Aspen. That's not that big of a difference. Lena's right though, we can handle it ourselves. I appreciate you helping her out, and I'm sure she does too, but we can manage it on our own. Or at least we can try. And I'm gonna tell you this. I'm not letting a single person hurt any of my friends when I'm there, even if I myself get hurt through it. <laughs> That's my little sister. Now come on, we'll be late for first period. Oh, um, hi Bryson. Hey, I'm sorry for cutting our conversation short yesterday. My mom got pissed and broke a vase in her room. I thought something happened. Oh, no need to apologize. You know, you can always come to my house or anywhere else really after school one of these days if you feel like it. <laughs> Thanks. I think my parents are waiting for the holidays to be over before they get divorced. I hope they find a common ground by then. I heard that your mom makes dad sleep on the couch. <laughs> dad says she's feeling nice. He usually sleeps in the basement on a sleeping bag. To be honest, I'm surprised mom doesn't just kick him out already. Do you even like your parents? I I'm sorry, that was impulsive of me to ask. I like mom. She's cool. But I hate dad's guts. He knocked mom up in high school and he's too much of a coward to actually man up and get a job. Spends most of his time at the bars or some dumb shit like that. That sounds horrible. I'm so sorry. Mackenzie, it's fine, really. Though, I wouldn't mind taking your offer on coming over to your house sometime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that. Come on, I'll walk you to your class. English Literature Classroom. Ta-da! <laughs> Thanks. No problem. See ya in math? <laughs> See ya. Hey, were you just talking to that Bryson kid? 
Um, yeah. Why? Don't. I hear he was in a pretty messed up position with his mom. I heard his mom tried to bang him. Okay, listen. I don't even know who you are. But one, you've just met me three seconds ago. And two, even without taking that into account, you really shouldn't be talking about this so openly. It's Bryson's private life, not yours. I'm just speaking what I heard. Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't go around just sharing these serious rumors with random people you just met. You're new here, aren't you? Do you even know who I am? No, I just met you right now, remember? And anyway, it isn't like any sort of social status would put you above sharing other people's secrets. Well, here's what I give a damn about. My life and my boyfriend in your little outcast group is ruining it. So I suggest you leave the school before I make you. And let me tell you that your first impression was awful. Is there something you'd like to share with the class, girls? No. no. Good. Now pay attention, please. You look pissed. I am. What's up? This bitch I have in my EL class turns around and says something extremely unpleasant and insensitive about your mom and you. And I thought, geez, what is wrong with her? And she was like, my boyfriend and I are going to commit acts of violence towards you and your friends. And I was like, wow. Great first impression, which I think was a really good comeback, but that isn't the point. The point is that the first thing she said to me was so weird and evasive, and it makes me really mad that she just randomly threatened me in our friend group because she's just that insecure, and I'm not about to sit here and take this shit! Mackenzie, calm down. I think it's bold that she told you to leave because of her and her boyfriend's perfect life. I bet I know exactly who it is, too. Who? What did she look like? Oh, um, she had a white crop top and jean shorts on. Blonde hair? Very. Nova. Who? Nova Watson. I'm surprised you haven't heard of her already. Head cheerleader. One of the most richest people in the whole city. Is he that Oliver kid who beat up Aiden? The one and only. <laughs> her taste is as bad as she is. You shouldn't like her in the first place. She's the most basic white trash we have here. And the only reason Oliver is dating her is because of her reputation as Queen Bee of Oak Grove High. Great, we have one of those girls. It doesn't matter where you go. There will always be that basic white girl there. Funny you should say that since I was the basic white girl in my old school. <laughs> you, really? You don't seem like a bitch, mac and cheese. <laughs> I was more of the beta bitch than the alpha bitch. I wasn't too girly though, so not too different than I am now. I like your style, Mac. Don't change it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I thought so too. I saw him in the hallway, but it looked like he was putting his books in his locker. 
He didn't seem to be in any trouble. Maybe he's in the tech room? Do you think he's in trouble? Can't be. Oliver is still in his chair. Yeah, but Nova isn't... Why is it that whenever there's a problem, it's always at lunch? Where are you losers running off to? Going to have a makeout session? You really need to shut up. I won't because I know I'm right. You're a bunch of- Seriously, shut up! <laughs> Look at this guy. Stay away from my boyfriend! Then tell your boyfriend to stop beating me up. He only beats you up because you're drooling all over him. It makes him and me uncomfortable! No. Whatever, at least I don't make out with him in the hallway like it's a strip club. Oh, you wish you could, you little freak. Bryson! My god, did no one tell you not to hit a girl? If she calls my friend a freak, I can. Aiden, go. I got this. Dude, why the hell did you do that? People need to stop shaming you for being gay. You like a dude, fine. But no one is calling my friend a freak. Thank you, Bryson. Bryson. Mac, I'll be fine. This isn't about you being fine, you idiot! Well, I'm glad you are, but you weren't the one getting clocked in the face so hard you fell! Look, I get it. Nova was way out of line. But out of nowhere, you charged up to her and swung a fist in her face! That was more violence than you needed to use to get her to stop! Mackenzie, I want you to leave. No, that isn't... Mackenzie, if you cared about me, you'd leave. I do this every day. I'll be fine. Just go. This is your fifth time here, I believe. I guess it's just fate. Do you understand that being in my office as much as you do won't grant you a reward? I simply react to what is necessary. <laughs> Punching a girl. Stealing someone's lunch. Smacking books out of people's hands. How is all that in any way necessary? That girl called my friend a freak. I thought you were working towards building a friendly environment. I guess calling someone a freak is friendly nowadays. I don't think you have the authority to tell me how to do my job. I am doing my best to keep you and others out of trouble. I understand that people can be jerks, but you don't have to act out in anger at that. So you want my gay best friend to live his life being called a freak? I'm not in charge of everyone's response to your friend's sexuality. However, I can control what happens in school with your peers. When I see someone punching another student, I have the choice to stop it, and I did. 
I know you and your friends are considered the misfits or the outcasts of our school, and I understand that you feel the need to protect yourselves when something like this happens. But if need be, tell an adult or someone who can stop this. Because if bullies see you standing up for yourselves, they're just going to get harder. So next time someone calls your friend a freak, tell me before engaging. I can't say it's a definitive yes, but it's not a no either. I'll consider it. Oh, and Bryson, tell that pretty sister of yours I said hi 